Hello! In this video, we are going to be talking about how to install your Mark's key cylinder into your Mark's lock set. A common issue comes from the screws and pins that stick into the key cylinder installation hole. If the screws are too far in, then the key cylinder will not be able to be screwed in properly. If you try to force it, the pin will strip the threads on the key cylinder, meaning you will have to buy a new one. Our lock set is shown out of the door for this demonstration. The first thing you should do is back the screw out of the lock set by unscrewing it slightly. This will get rid of the block and allow the key cylinder to be able to thread into the lock set. You can also see on the key cylinder the grooves that run on either side. When you tighten the loosened screw, it extends the pin which keeps the cylinder in place. Installing it with the trim ring is the same process. Insert the cylinder into the ring and then thread it into the lock set. With the ring, it can be a bit difficult to turn the cylinder. Insert the key partially into the cylinder and use it as a makeshift screwdriver to get the cylinder tightened down. Once it is tight, you might have to unscrew it slightly to make sure the key cylinder lines up so the key opening points down towards the handle hole and the grooves on the side of the key cylinder line up with the pins. Tighten the screw back into place so the pin catches the grooves in the key cylinder and you have installed your key cylinder into your Mark's lock set correctly. Insert the key fully and test to make sure the lock set works properly. Use the other key cylinder and trim ring that is provided to test the other side as well before installation. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them at the bottom of this video or call us at allaboutdoors.com.